I mean, these lyrics are clearly just bullshit. I mean, I used to be so crazy that I didn't realize songs had lyrics. Like, I thought everyone was just saying nonsense. Like, I actually thought that. Yeah, I, I, I just thought it was okay to just be like, say a bunch of random shit and like, use the word baby a lot. Hey, I'm Grimes, and I'm gonna break down every album in my career. Getty Primes, 2010. I mean, I would probably call this album Cyber Twee, which is only two words instead of three words. But it's kind of like twee, but like sci-fi, science fiction twee music. Yes, this is, this is my art that I made when I was like, I don't know, like 20 or however old I was at the time. Its hair is supposed to be like the universe. And I was just really into roses at the time, these weird hearts with eyeballs, which I've since, I think this is like the Comme de Garçon symbol actually, that I accidentally didn't realize they had already pre-branded or something. So forgive me, um, it's like a, a demon with the universe in its hair. Well, okay, I used to be embarrassed about this, but now I think it's kind of cool. This is like a, a Dune concept album, which is one of my favorite books. So I just wanted to like, I don't know, make an album that I thought would sound like Dune. I guess my dream at the time would have been to direct the Dune movie. So I was like, oh, I'll write the soundtrack. Getty Prime in the book is G-I-E-D-I-P-R-I-M-E. -I -I -E. And I, because I was called Grimes, I was like, oh, I need an album title that rhymes with Grimes. I don't know why I thought that at the time, but it, it seemed um, relevant at the time. <laughs> Sorry, this feels so absurd. <laughs> I mean, this album is like, this is the most MySpace album ever. That's probably how I would describe it. I had all these weird MySpaces and like fake ba bands basically. And then uh, a friend of mine tried to record me and then that was just like a disaster. That's like the most unlistenable music ever created and hopefully it never leaks. So after that, I was like, Jesus Christ, like I need to go make like a good album. I don't know, I, I was just like, ah, ah. I was like, I'll, I'll just make an album. I mostly use GarageBand for this um, and this like really sh keyboard I had and yeah, it was mostly board equipment. A lot of the drums are just like pencils on like a table and that kind of thing. There's a lot I feel like I could do differently with this album, but I also feel like the rickety kind of like unfinished nature of it is sort of its appeal. I mean, I just, I literally did not think anyone would actually listen to this album. Like I thought like my like roommates would listen to this album. So <laughs> it's kind of like, um, an accidental fluke. Halfaxa, 2010. This album's like lo-fi ethereal hardcore. People say it's Witch House. I don't know what Witch House is. I, I think Witch House um, is actually sort of like hip hop adjacent normally. I mean, this album artwork is actually the superior album artwork, but like we were like dropping the album on a Monday or something and I was like on tour like in a van and my manager was like, can you just send me a file to post by tomorrow? And so I was just like threw that together in Photoshop. But th this, is, this is like the official cover in my mind. I mean, this album is mostly about my <laughs> vacation in Halifax. <laughs> I went to go see my friend Duffy <laughs> and I had a fun week there, <laughs> like staying at his house and like eating snacks and stuff. Went to the harbor. <laughs> I mean, back in the day, I was just like making albums. Like it was just like, oh, whatever. Like, I don't know. So I, I, don't, I wanted to like make up a word and I just was really into X's at the time. And I was like, wow, Halifax is a really cool city, but it would be slightly better if it was, sounded a bit more like a girl's name. Most of these albums, I had like no climate control in my apartment in Montreal. So like, I think I was really cold for Getty Primes and I remember being really hot, like outrageously sweaty when I was making this and just being like, God, like overwhelmed by the heat. This one's really long, so I was, I was obviously just like going down a rabbit hole or something. My friend's cat, um, Voynemir, is on a few of the songs. And the cat like wouldn't stop, like just meow. Like I was just like, God damn it. Like, and it, you can hear the bus going by too. There was like this like broken part of the road and the, every time the bus would go over, it'd be like Bleh. So there's just all these buses in, deep in this album, yeah. I actually think this is my most underrated album, but I think it's my least commercially successful album. <laughs> This is the 2011 Dark Bloom EP. I actually forgot I made this. Urban Twilight Montreal. I remember like chilling on the sidewalk, really appreciating the, twi the twilight of the city, like in the time I was making this. I don't know, this, this album feels really Montreal. This was just kind of like a having fun with friends kind of vibe. This was just in our apartment. We just hung up some fabrics and like draped ourselves in 
stuff from the dollar store, I guess. I literally used to use acrylic paint on my face to make my face white like that. It's like really bad for you, but yeah. I think this album was me like try, trying to make like pop music, mostly. I think I recall a lot of these songs kind of sounding like shit if I were to change anything about this. I think I would probably like finish them. You know what, I might have gotten the Juno G by then, which was like a huge game changer for me is when I got like a nice keyboard. This album's called Visions from 2012. Maybe like psychedelic sci-fi twee, a little twee. Uh, the artwork, I drew that um, while I was watching Enter the Void by Gaspar Noe. I don't know, I, and, and I, cause I just finished the album and I was all like shaky and I went up to my roommate's apartment and I was like, oh, let's like watch a movie, I finished the album. And, and they're like, okay, and they're like, I'll watch a movie. And I was like, ah, ah, like just making this painting. I mean, this is like a hipster ass album. That is most assuredly the case. And then there's some like Anna Akhmatova quotes and stuff, yeah. This album came about, well, from the moderate success of my first album, <laughs> so I, guess, I guess. This was like the first time I sat down and made an album where I was like, maybe some people will actually listen to this um, besides like my social circle. Yeah, I don't know, I'd, I'd say I, pu I put in a, a lot of effort into this one. I think I just, I wanted to go insane. Like I, I was like, I should just do everything I can possibly do to go insane. Will probably lead to something good. I was like really into Hildegard von Bingen at the time, who's this 12th century composer. She was in a cloister for like 15 or 20 years, which is like where you're just locked in a cage basically to commune with God or something. You know, she did all these illustrations and compositions and stuff. So I was like, I don't know, I'll, I'll just lock myself in a room. Yeah, I remember my roommate Marilis would like put little plates at the door. So I would like open the door and like eat some food. I think I said I fasted for two weeks, but I don't think I actually did. But I did black out the windows and all that. And I did truly go insane during the making of this album, I, I will say. And I think it turned out, yeah. This is Art Angels from 2015. Like orchestral emo production. Wacom very kindly gave me, gifted me a, digi a drawing computer tablet, so I created this digitally. Way better, because if you f up, like back when I used to make these dr things, I would like spell ink and then I just destroy something. And plus, I've lost a bunch of these. Like, I think my mom threw them out. We've been trying to find them. Yeah, Sandy threw them out, I think. This album, I really got into like playing the guitar um, and stuff like that. Like, it was a little kid's guitar, like a half size kind of guitar. Yeah, I don't know. I was like really into like Paramore and stuff like that when I made this. My setup was nicer. I had a desktop computer, um, just huge level up. And so people are like, what's the inspiration for the album? And I'm like, man, it takes so long. Albums are like, like your whole life it goes into making an album, you know? It's like for everything that's ever happened to me, I suppose, is, my, is the inspiration or like half the things. Like realistically, like a tiny percentage of the things, but over a long period of time. <laughs> this is Misanthropocene from 2020. It's my best album, in my opinion. When I think about this album, I, I guess sort of like eth ethereal, um, heavy, like, um, it, it sort of feels like the video game Shadow of the Colossus to me, like, like where you kind of go around and, and kill these like beautiful giant demons, like this sort of like horror and beauty of like killing a whale or something, you know, how it's just like, wow, it's like this like incredible feat of human ingenuity, but it's just like a devastating act to pursue. I, I don't know, that's not three words, but. I actually took a picture of myself painting my boob with a phone and then like traced it and made it like fancy. Like, you know, when you're working in Photoshop or Manga Studio or Premiere, like when I'm editing a music video or like, you know, we've been doing a lot of CG lately at my house. We're like, whoa, we're like building worlds. And it's like, we, you know, you're like using this program to create worlds. I mean, it's like that when you're making music too. I wanted to create a fictional universe where there's like all these new gods. And if the new gods were building the simulation that we live in, you know, this is the program that the gods use. Sorry, I, this is, I'm obviously like went really deep in, into like a inner spiral. The title is Misanthropocene, which is probably annoyingly a pun or whatever. I don't know, it's misanthrope and, and anthropocene, which if you don't know what those words mean, misanthrope is like someone who hates p humans and anthropocene is um, the on the geological time scale, a, a, a proposed name for um, 
man-made climate change, I guess. Dark Side, I worked with Pan, which was super fun. I actually made, I made the beat for Lil Uzi, but then he didn't write me back. So I got Pan to come, you know, make her magic on top of it. And that was really f-ing fun. And Violence I made with, this is actually supposed to be for my next record. It is replacing the song Dark Souls, which is a tragedy that I didn't finish this song because it's theoretically the best song on the record, but it became an engineering nightmare. So I was not able to finish it because it literally just became like a nightmare and like the file was like unplayable. So I like I will finish that actually. And it's named after my second favorite video game. It's one of those songs like Stand By Your Man like was written in 13 minutes apparently. And it was just one of like literally this song was made in like under an hour and it, it was just felt really good and it was just really blah. And I was like, we gotta put it out because I need to put out something newer than this other music, which is a bit older. So I don't know, normally I would not have another producer on the record, but I O produced this. I guess 4AM has a sample from Sanjay Bansali or whatever from Bajira Mastani, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, the na 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 na. This is the first album I've, I think I've ever made without fear. I guess. I just feel like this album like really knows what it is. I was just really mean when I was making this album. I was just like, ah, like I, like I was like powering up. <laughs> um, I think this is the album that I have wanted to make my whole life, but I needed to get there like emotionally and like technically.